All right, today is August 7th, 2023. Um, we're about a week away from going to Italy. About 10 days after we get back, we then head off to Kenya. And about five days after we get back from Kenya, we move back to Bellevue. Uh, Yushi's in Bellevue right now for work this week. She's back in the condo getting Wi-Fi set up, things like that. So it's just Cookie and I down here. And it just kind of hit me. We only have about three more weeks of actually living in the house before we actually move back. It's definitely a weird feeling. There's a lot of stress with the move and not really having any offers right now on the house, um, but still planning to move. Having the vacations in the middle of all this is stressful, but I know someday it'll all be behind us, but it's a lot to have all going on at once. Uh, plus like flying cookie, dealing with that again and all that sort of stuff. Um, the pods shows up uh, in about a week and a half, right when we get back from Italy. And then the car will be picked up right after Kenya. So we have everything planned for the most part. It's now just let's sell the house and get this behind us. But we're definitely going to miss the house down here. I don't think we're going to miss too much else about the area. I mean, I'll miss taking Cookie on the nice walks in the mornings here when it's warm and whatnot. But I think in an ideal world, we'd take this house. We love the house. We'd copy paste it back in Bellevue. But um yeah, we'll miss the house. We won't miss Texas too much. My excitement of moving back definitely exceeds my uh, sadness of leaving the house. So it's overall for the best. Um, Cookie's going to be excited to have all of her, you know, places that she knows in Bellevue back again and getting to see Junior and things like that. So, yeah, it's uh, just kind of weird realizing that the clock is ticking down with our time here. But, um, yeah, we'll enjoy it while we have it and someday we'll look back and... It'll feel like a lifetime ago that we were here. So enjoying the next 15-ish days that we actually have left living in the house. So till then. All right, we made it back from Italy. Um, the house has been mostly packed up at this point. As you can see, there's pretty much no furniture. Um, the pods crate is still sitting in the driveway. There is a horse in the middle of the floor. Uh, the pods crate is still sitting in the driveway and gets picked up on Monday morning. Today is Saturday. So we have about two more days to kind of go in and out and make sure we get any last one-off things taken care of. But the movers did a good job getting everything out of here. Um, this is now my TV for the Seahawks preseason game that's going on right now. Commercial break. Oh, looks like we're back. Uh, Yushi's in here packing slash repacking for Africa, which we leave for on Thursday. So about five days until then, five or six days. And then, yeah, things are mostly packed up. I think our stress levels are quite a bit lower than before Italy, just because the house is now pretty much empty. So there's a lot less to do. Everything has gone according to plan so far. So let's hope that stays up and hope that we get an offer on the house soon. Right, Cookie? Right. All right, we have another open house going on right now that we weren't told about. We just thought we had a one hour showing, but it turns out we have to be on for four hours. So we grabbed Cookie. We're gonna go hang out at the amenity area for a little bit, but it's supposed to be 106 today. Uh, so we'll do that for a bit and then go back to the car for some more AC, but here we go for now. So the pods crate got picked up today. It's August 28th, Monday. On Thursday, we fly to New York to then fly to Kenya the next day. So our time in the house is really, really ticking down fast. We got Tuesday, Wednesday, this week, and then like three or four days after we get back. So work's a little slow right now. I'm outside with Cookie. She's sitting here doing her weird stuff, just kind of enjoying the heat. It's uh, still really hot here. I think um, yesterday was 109, which might have been the highest we've seen, but we had a huge windstorm come through, cooled it off a little bit. So I think for the next couple of days, the high is only supposed to be 100, which is still pretty hot, but we can at least sit out here for a couple minutes and hang out for some time, get her her vitamin D. And we just did another price cut on the house today, um, hoping that'll help things sell quicker so it doesn't sit here vacant for too much longer after we move. Um, I think it sounds like things are just slow across the board right now with 
both interest rates being higher and higher and then also school just started so everyone who tried to move during the summer is now out of the market and sounds like there's just some seasonality where things slow down for August, September. So um, not too optimistic right now, but hopefully uh, we get something before too long and ideally before we actually move on September 15th. But time will tell. I wouldn't be surprised if we have to wait till October to get something, but we shall see. So the house is mostly packed up. The pod was picked up yesterday. Um, the day after tomorrow, we head off for our Kenya trip and then we move shortly after that. So not here in the garage, wanted to do a walkthrough of the house coming in from the garage one more time just to have it on video because I'm sure someday, several years from now, I'll want to see what it looked like and, and go through it. So let's do it. Laundry room right here, nothing exciting. You can see, like I said, everything's mostly packed up except for that little creature thing down there. Um, but all the furniture is gone, kitchen's mostly packed up. The office here that we use as our home gym is now empty. Nothing over here. The bedroom that Yushi used as her office is now packed up. Bathroom's pretty much totally empty. I'm not gonna go into the bedroom because Yushi is on a call in there, but pretty much just storing all of our stuff on the hutch right here. Uh, and then if we go upstairs, it's entirely empty up here. Um, nothing, not even a roll of toilet paper or soap. So this room that I use as my office, empty. That closet's empty. Bathroom, nothing. Guest bedroom, we sold the guest bed and dresser a long time ago. So it's also empty in here. Game room. I'm bummed we never had the ping pong table, but now knowing we moved already, I guess I'm glad we didn't waste money on one. And then the media room here, empty. I'm kind of sad that we didn't put this room to more use. I'm glad we had it. It was cool with the big TV. Um, we never set up the audio with the pre-wiring we did for surround sound, but yeah, I, I wish this room got put to use a little more and that the air conditioning worked a little better in here, but... Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. It, it feels so normal being in here right now, but it, it still hasn't hit that we really only have, what, six or seven days of actually living in the house left before we move. So it's uh, it's weird. wanted to capture the layout of the house on camera one more time just to be able to look back at this someday, remember what the house looked like, remember kind of the lifestyle that came with it down here. We'll definitely miss the house and all the space. I think it's going to be pretty hard going back to Bella Arts, working uh, with 650 square feet side by side, the two of us. So hopefully she goes into the office more often than not. But I know Cookie will miss all the space here, but she'll be happy to be back, uh, back in Bellevue. So one last little spin around here. It's Tuesday, September 12th. Uh, we move in three, two slash three days since we're flying out of Austin now. We drive over there Thursday evening, which is the 14th, and then we fly out the morning of the 15th. So I'm out of breath because I was on a run over here at the big, uh, big ponds behind Warbler Cove, and it kind of hit me this is possibly and probably my last time going on a run over here. It's, uh, it's like 7 a.m. right now, 73 degrees. I'll definitely miss these these mornings, this temperature once we move back, but um, yeah, unfortunately with all of Cookie's leg issues, she's definitely taking her last walk over here, and we didn't even realize it at the time, but um, yeah, I think we're both tired. We had a nightmare of a travel trip coming back from Kenya. Uh, we had the flight from Masai Mara back to Nairobi on the little private plane kind of thing. That was fine. Um, after sitting at the airport for a while, we then had the 14 hour flight from Nairobi to JFK. From JFK, we were supposed to take the subway to uh, LaGuardia, the other New York airport, to fly out of there to directly to Houston, same evening. Uh, a big storm came through the New York, the whole East Coast really, and it canceled almost half of the flights going out of LaGuardia. So we um, 
we're given a couple options. Um, most were saying we couldn't come back until now today. We ended up getting back last night because we ended up taking a Greyhound to Philadelphia, two and a half hour Greyhound ride, which Yushi thought of that, which was a great idea because we got home sooner. Um, but so we ended up doing that late at night. We were running on like three hours of sleep from the flight, or at least I was. She usually got, I think, eight or nine hours. So she slept well on the long flight back, but I did not. So we were just fighting to stay, uh, to stay awake on the uh, drive back, but we finally got back. Um, and then we flew from Philadelphia to Atlanta, and then Atlanta back to Houston yesterday. And I'm so ha I've never been so happy to be back in Houston. Um, we also had to switch we, we were able to get, I was able to get on standby for an earlier flight. It was the last seat. So Yushi and I split off just so we could make sure at least one of us gets home. <laughs> um, so I got on the earlier flight. Also then the, the earlier flight from Atlanta to Houston. Got home, um, picked up Cookie, and now the clock is really ticking. It's Tuesday. We leave to drive to Austin on Thursday. So it's really coming down to the wire here. And just wanted to kind of capture this whole area since I've always enjoyed kind of going on the walks and runs out here and um, you know there's not too much that I'll miss about Houston and you know living down here but this is definitely one of them it's just this whole walkable almost golf coursey kind of feel to it you know no road no cars good for Cookie to be off leash um, so yeah one last look and then I'll see you guys later I'm at uh, Bush Airport of the car rental facility, picking up our rental car for the next couple days to go take Cookie and drop her at the Austin airport. So let's go get this rental car. I forgot to film it last night, but the rental car we ended up getting is a minivan. And this person right here is about to go take it for a spin on her way to her Pilates class. So let's uh, take a look at her leaving in style. for one of Yushi's final meals here. She wanted to get her taqueria place. So pick up three tacos for her, heading home, and then later today we're gonna hit the road over to Austin. September 14th, as you can see, the house is pretty much fully packed up except the stuff on the island over here. We got maybe two more trips to the rental car to put that stuff in there, and then we are officially out of here. Headed to Austin today, check into an extended stay America, and then we fly Cookie out of Austin tomorrow. I'm a little nervous just given how last time's flight went with her and there's also supposed to be some storms in Austin tomorrow so there's a lot that can go wrong um, and if something goes wrong it screws everything up since we have our movers uh, scheduled for the next day and everything so we'll get going here soon. Um, it feels weird that these are truly the last moments that we will ever set foot in this house. What are your final thoughts before we go? We'll go the same way we go. If we could that would be magical, but don't think we can do that. This is 6718 Waxbill Road, signing off. Right here, this one. We made the two hour drive to Austin. We're in this extended stay America. Both kind of camped up here at the uh, Little desk, Cookie's doing okay. She didn't love the two hour drive and was stressed out the whole time per usual, but tomorrow's the big day and then hopefully she will never have to fly again. We're still waiting for confirmation that Cookie's on here, but one step closer to making it home. Let's go. All right, we made it to SeaTac. Uh, Yushi's picking up the rental car. I've been sitting here for almost an hour. Apparently it's a really long line there. I got Cookie. Uh, she was super traumatized as expected. I put her on the cart thing right here and took her over to the dog, um, the dog area. Got her out there, let her walk around drink. She drank uh, basically my full bottle of water and half of a plastic bottle we have left over. So you, she's getting more water for her at the Avis Center and then we'll be homebound soon. All right, we made it back. Uh, Yushi dropped me and Cookie at the Toys R Us parking spot here, and then she's gonna come back and join us. We're gonna walk back to the building and see if Cookie recognizes the uh, recognizes where she is. Kind of have a once 
once in a lifetime opportunity to do this because she'll obviously figure things out soon. So we'll see how this goes. I think uh, she knew exactly where we were at first, but as soon as we got near Pet's Heart, she let us right in. So we're in here, her tail's wagging, she's pretty happy. So we'll, the real test will be if she can lead us into the condo building across the street and knows where she's going. So stay tuned. All right, it was too chaotic to film everything with Cookie, but she sort of remembered Bella Arts, not necessarily the specific unit, but she did lead us kind of through the hallway and clearly recognized where she was, so it was fun to see. But um, we're starving. Yushi has a couple calls because she made the mistake of not taking today off. Um, so I'm going to get some garlic crush for me because that sounds incredible and I haven't had it in a long time and then I think she'll get Chipotle later or something. But we're here. We still need to unpack. Movers show up tomorrow. And then hopefully by the end of the weekend we're all set up and good to go. Okay, it's the next morning. Uh, this is our rental car behind us from the airport. We're now taking it back. We still don't know when our car will be here, but I think we got enough stuff from the grocery store. We can walk to the grocery store and we'll be able to just Uber if we need to go anywhere further. So almost done with everything. Movers will show up in a couple hours. Pods crate, same thing. Um, so hopefully by the end of today, we're in pretty good shape, but time will tell. Pods showed up this morning, dropped off the crate. Uh, and the mover showed up, well, there were supposed to be two to three movers, but only one of them showed up. So I ended up having to help the guy, which was tiring and I'm pretty exhausted now. But we got uh, stuff pretty much everywhere now. It's pretty overwhelming and I can definitely tell we have way more stuff than will fit in this place. Plus the uh, storage unit that we have is pretty much full already. So we'll see. I'll report back once we're done, kind of sorting everything aside. Now Monday, September 18th. We've got most things fairly organized as best as we can for now. Big TV definitely is out of place on the floor over there, so we'll have to get a temporary TV stand or something, but still some organizing to do. It feels good. It's Monday, so uh, Yushi went into the office. Um, Cookie and I went and met her uh, around the lunch hour just to visit her since she's down the street, and then I've been working here slash wrapping up editing the vlog from Africa. So we're pretty much mostly moved in. I think a little more touch-ups, but it feels good to kind of have pretty much everything went according to plan other than the last minute scramble with switching the flight from Austin to Houston. But as far as, you know, getting everything here, getting everything unpacked, being ready to work on Monday, we kind of accomplished all of that. So we're kind of just in the groove of it now.